You know what this is, right? It's a door. You can say door. So why do you do something strange with this word? Daughter. The GH is completely silent. It's basically the word door and the sound t. Daughter. I mean, didn't you know that when we have a vowel sound in English followed by GH, the GH is silent unless it uses the F sound like cough and rough? Yes, in all other situations, the GH is silent like daughter, caught, thought, bought, taught, high, night, thigh, through, thorough. Did you hear me pronounce the GH in any of those words? It's a great pronunciation rule that I want you to learn and I've got so many more silent letter rules for you inside this lesson. So let's go. Okay, this is a British English pronunciation lesson, by the way, and something I hear quite a lot is students saying, hey, Greg, I have a daub, daub, daubt, daubt. Well, did you know that when we have the B, T combination of letters, especially at the end of words, the B is silent. And did you also know you should say, I have a question instead of I have a doubt. But anyway, look at these examples, doubt, debt, and subtle. Now this doesn't work when we're using sub as a prefix, meaning below, like subtitle or subterrain. But generally, this rule works well. Now, yes, I'm going to include the phonetic transcription of the words in this lesson. If you're not familiar with the sounds, with the symbols of these transcriptions, please take the time to learn them. It will really, really benefit you when you're learning pronunciation. Okay, it changed my life when I learned them when I was learning French and I make it really, really simple for you in that video up there. So I'll put a link in the description. Please watch that video. It will absolutely benefit you when you're learning pronunciation. Okay, let's have a look at the next rule. Here's another rule for the silent B and this is for words that end M, B. In this situation, we do not pronounce the letter B. Dumb, thumb, lamb, climb, bomb, tomb. Again, do you hear? Do you see? There's no B in the transcription and you do not hear any B at the end of that word. So don't pronounce it just because we write it. It will not help us understand you. It will do the opposite, okay? If I asked you if you want a teeb, you'd probably say, what a teeb? Yeah, I don't pronounce a B at the end of T. So don't pronounce a B at the end of thumb because it doesn't exist in spoken English. Okay, I have some really common mistakes coming up. I uh, just want to tell you that you can download a full summary and a test of this lesson by clicking up there. Again, there's a link in the description. Just enter your email and I will send it to you. You will also get access to all my previous lessons and I will also email you a PDF every time I do a new video. Wow. Okay, the next silent letter rule is a big one and it's for words that end ED in the past tense. The E is completely silent. Yeah, look at these. Asked, walked, ordered, laughed, picked, tried, chased. There's no E sound or E sound or I sound in these words. Now, the only exception to this rule is when the verb ends with a T or D sound, like want or decide or need or hate. And in this situation, we pronounce the E. Uh, the ending sounds like this, id. So wanted, needed, decided, and hated. But for all the other letters that the verbs can end in, we add ed to put it in the past, and that e is silent. So again, if you want to speak clearly and be easily understood in English, don't pronounce the e in these words. It won't help us understand you. Okay, rule number five, and probably one of the most mispronounced words is the word pregnant. Now look at the GN in the word pregnant. 
pregnant. The G is in one syllable. The N is in a different syllable. In those situations, we pronounce both letters. But if they come in the same syllable, the G is silent. Foreign, design, sign, feign, and rain. Yes, the G, as you can see, and here, the G does not exist phonetically. Okay, you might know rule number six. It's quite well known. Let's see if you know. Can you tell me which is the silent letter in these words? Knife, night, no, knowledge, knee. Of course, the K is silent in words that begin K. N. And rule number seven might be well known, but I can promise you that most of my students decide not to follow it. And that is that when we have a word that uses the R or, or O sound and then LF or LK, we'll look at some examples, but in these situations, the L is silent, completely silent. So using the R sound, we have half, calf, and palm. Using the OR sound, we have chalk, walk, and talk. And using the O sound, we have yoke and folk. Don't pronounce the L in these words. And while I'm mentioning this, let's just have a special moment to talk about my three friends, should, could, and would. Never pronounce the L in these words. Again, it doesn't exist. It's a really common mistake, but just stop it. Okay, I have a quiz question for you in one minute, but before, let's have a look at number eight, and that is where words begin G, U, and a vowel, or B, U, and a vowel, that U is silent. So look at guide, guest, and guard. It's not guide, guest, and guard. The U is silent. It's guide, guest, and guard. And for words beginning B, U, and a vowel, build, building, and boy. A boy with this spelling is one of those big orange balls that you see in the middle of the sea or in the middle of a lake. A boy. Okay, let's have a look at your quiz today. We have four words here, which end A, G, E. In three of them, the A-G-E is pronounced the same, but in one of these words, the A-G-E is pronounced differently. Which one is pronounced differently? Well, I'll tell you the answer in that video there. It's rule number one of eight simple pronunciation rules to help you speak clearly. And if you want to improve your pronunciation with me on a more personal level, there's a coupon code for you to join my complete British English pronunciation course. The coupon and the link are in the description. Okay, like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. The worksheet's there, and I'll see you in that video next. Bye for now.